Efforts to broaden participation of underrepresented students in higher education continues to rely on the pipeline model, that is to say, building relationships across educational institutions from high school to community college to undergraduate to graduate programs. But data confirm that the U.S. has reached a plateau in college enrollment and degree attainment by minorities. So the AAAS and NSF have jointly urged new alternatives to the pipeline metaphor. While this metaphor may have some value, we want to introduce a new way of thinking about how to engage underrepresentation in higher education by thinking of it not as a pipeline, but as something that actually happens geographically. Using a geographic perspective, we see it as a complex landscape of interaction. In other words, we promote thinking about how engagement and participation in higher ed actually occurs in real places and at distances across space. In fact, we know, students often ask, where should I go to college, how far from home, and what kind of place can I succeed? Meanwhile, departments ask, where do we find a more diverse faculty student body? What would a diverse educational environment look like here? These questions reveal how the process is fundamentally spatial and geographic. We may be getting stuck if we fail to recognize that where universities are, where underrepresented students are coming from, and their geographic context all matter a great deal. This is the thinking behind the AAG's Aligned Project, funded by the NSF. We've been designing ways to inspire programs that are looking to create more inclusive and diverse disciplinary spaces and to align with underrepresented individuals who have higher education goals. We're using geographic perspectives and tools and core ideas like scale, space, and place. Working with pilot departments, we have compiled and created resources to inspire departmental level diversity activities. The Align Toolkit is now in its beta version, making these spatial data and materials easily accessible on a secure platform. Let's take a tour with the help of our pilot departments. First stop is the University of North Carolina at Wilmington. Here you can see where the interface for the toolkit allows the department to compare their own demographic profile, which they've provided to us, with the demographic profile of their institution as a whole, with the census data for the county population age 15 through 29 to catch the youth category most interested in undergraduate programs. You can see the various categories and compare them across scales and also at a higher level scale at the state level. Here we provide the department next to the state youth population, the state undergraduate enrollment to see who's going to college, and the state high school enrollment for who's coming up and interested in college. This can also be scaled up to compare the department profile with the youth population in the U.S. age 15 through 29 and also to compare to undergraduate enrollment in the national U.S. higher education system as a whole. These statistics can be easily seen all together and visualized in a group of charts that we've provided for easy comparison. You can see this department is doing very well with respect to Native American undergraduate enrollment and is interested in reaching out to the black community on campus and across the state. So what does this look like on the map? The blue dot in the center is the university and you can see the distribution of demographic profiles of Native American in this case, Hispanic population in this case, and the black community in this case. You can see what the colors represent by clicking on the label in the legend and these data are distributed by quintile so they're different for each demographic category. So this department at North Carolina in Wilmington might be interested in reaching out to minority serving institutions that could help them with their engagement. These kinds of relationships can help enrich research programs especially for undergraduates with HBCUs such as Fayetteville State University and other programs in the area. Another strategy that the toolkit can help think through is recruitment at area high schools. Here you can see the schools that offer AP geography exams, which can mean students that are a little more aware of geography as a career or more inclined to major. When coupled with the layer of the demographic census information, the department might realize they might need to reach out even further beyond campus into their catchment area for this effort. Let's look at Texas A&M University Department of Geography. The toolkit makes it clear that while the department has a rather high Hispanic and Latino population 
compared to most geography departments, there is a real strong opportunity in the state for engaging more Hispanic and Latino youth. Looking at the map, we can see on the layers of census data where these Hispanic young people are. Obviously, in College Station, they're looking now to recruit from high schools in the Houston area and also looking further south using the toolkit to visualize where the high schools that offer AP Human Geography exams. They discovered that there are some locations where their faculty have field research work and now they're planning to engage the local high schools where that research is happening. Moving west, the University of Washington Department of Geography helps us look through the toolkit's utility for highlighting where efforts are being successful. You can see in green numbers where the department's profile exceeds the institutional profile and also the other statistics at various scales in the toolkit. Scrolling down to see what this looks like on the charts, we can confirm that the departmental profile exceeds that of its institution, and in some cases, the state and the US. It also helps us to recognize that there is an opportunity to engage with the Native American undergraduate population as well. Turning to the map, we can find where the US population distribution of Native Americans are relative to campus and we can also see where the minority serving institutions are, such as Northwest Indian College to the north of Seattle. Another feature of the toolkit is this layer to find where other programs from NSF might be possible to create some synergistic relationships with. In this case, we can see that the Northwest Indian College has an opportunity for enhancing diversity grant to incorporate traditional ecological knowledge of marine geosciences into Native Environmental Science program for Native Americans. And another layer shows which high schools offer AP Environmental Science exams. Finally, let's come back around to Hunter College at the City University of New York. The Align Toolkit is meant to inspire action based on spatial thinking and geographic information. In Hunter's case, we also see that their demographic profile relies heavily on students reporting as other and multiple races, which means that we have to interpret that with respect to the other data that we get from the Department of Education. Beyond this data and its interpretation, the toolkit points to relevant research that can help departments learn how to engage with underrepresented groups. These are pulled up according to the demographic profile of departments. We've also compiled a larger bibliography that you can look at by following the links from the toolkit. In addition, we've pulled out some of the important insights from this research into targeted tips that also come up according to the departmental profile. These tips are also compiled in a special resource, 32 Ideas for Enhancing Diversity in Your Department or Program. Another link to the AAG's Diversity Clearinghouse helps you search for hundreds of resources such as data, conferences, publications, funding, recruiting strategies, best practices, case studies, fellowships, model projects. Use our search feature to find precisely what you are looking for or you may suggest your own resource for inclusion to the clearinghouse. Finally, the toolkit presents a tab on next steps, where departments might go from here, for their goals, outcomes, performance measures, targets, and sample strategies for enhancing diversity that can be incorporated into program assessments. Together with our pilot departments, we've created an Excel file with example sets of goals, outcomes, measures, and strategies that can be adapted and easily snipped and copied into your own program assessment or standalone diversity plan. For example, a department seeking to increase the presence of underrepresented undergraduates in their program by creating partnerships with high schools, such as was the case that we saw with University of North Carolina that happens in a real place, in a real location, with real space, in a complex landscape of higher education. For more information about the AAG Align Project, explore www.aag.org slash diversity. Many thanks to the NSF, our team of staff, 
advisors, and pilot departments for supporting this work to inspire programs to enhance diversity using the tools and perspectives of geography. Thank you.